Hey guys, what's up? This is Shavit Sooth from Euphoria, and I'm finally back with a Cinema 40 tool. I know guys, I've been like out of the tool since like 3 months, but I'm finally back. And this time, with a bang! So, let me show you guys what I'm going to teach you guys right now. So, what I'm going to teach you guys right now is how you can create this dark darkish broken logo as you can see it's not my logo it's logo of Ch -ch check it um, they're my friends so they allowed me to use this um, for my first try and I guess this came out pretty awesome so thank you to, uh, thank you Brandon Bias and Elias for letting me use this and yeah let's get into this rule guys right so what I'm uh, what I'm going to teach you first is how you can make pads of your logo and transfer it for illustrator and then you can use it in cinema 42 so let's open up photoshop first i'm using Fo adobe photoshop cc 2014 you can use any photoshop i guess so let's create a new document i'm going to use 1920 by 1080 and hit ok now i'm going to go and choose a brush by hitting b on my keyboard and i'm going to right click and choose my logo it's my it's a new feature of CC which shows the history of the brush so I uh, I don't know if it's available in 2013 or not so let's scale up it a bit I like it yeah so what we're going to teach you uh, what we're going to do now is control click on the layer whether it is a text or whatever you are using um, it's gonna select it as a selection now let's go to paths and hit uh, here the fourth button from the right or left it's actually from both so let's hit it there it's gonna create a work path so now what we're going to do now is go to file export paths to illustrator and I'm gonna hit ok because we're gonna use it as a work path and I'm gonna save it on my desktop so I'm gonna save my logo and hit enter it's gonna save it right there so let's get in I'm gonna minimize my Photoshop and I'm gonna open my Cinema 4D so I'm using Cinema 4D R15 you can use R14, R13, I don't, I don't know but the main thing here you need is a plugin card called Trousy and if you don't have that just go and google up for that it's a free plugin and if you don't know how to install plugins just google up for that too so assuming that you have all the stuff needed that is the logo actually the pad of what the stuff you're you going to use the plugin and cinema 40 of course so i'm gonna drag my logo on my on the Cinema 4D and put it here. It's gonna uh, open a pop-up saying this stuff, and it's gonna say scale one. We're not gonna worry about it. And I'm gonna hit OK. So what you can see is my logo outlines slash pads are here, and it's freaking sweet, I guess. Now you'll see a plus sign here, which says no object. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna. Click on my logo and hold shift and click on path. And from here, what I'm going to do is now, from here, what I'm going to do now, now is right click and say connect objects plus delete. It's gonna merge everything into one layer or one stuff, wherever. So let's select the path, and what we're going to do now is go to subdivision surface and drag out extrude I'm gonna drag my logo in the extrude and there are quite a few things I did with the with this one and that's what I'm going to teach you right guys right now so first of all let's uh, in the movement let's change the movement to in the Z axis to 54 I'm gonna go in caps and change the start to fillet cap and keep the end at caps. So I'm gonna change the step to two and let's see if I render this out. Maybe 
Vicky, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. So, I'm trying to find the perfect setting for it. I guess uh, I should open the last one. Isn't cool. So let's see. One to two. All right. So I was doing right. Let's go from one to two. And now I'm gonna uh, try quick render. There we go. So it looks really cool to me. And now what I'm going to do now is teach you how to create a texture. So I use a concrete image. You can use whatever image you want to. But I'm gonna provide that texture. In the description below so you can you guys can download the whole pack and you'll find that texture in it so I'm gonna double click here double click here again and in the color I'm going to go in textures and load image and there you go it's texture 9 and stuff no I don't need to copy and there you go it's looking pretty sweet in my opinion now I'm gonna go in reflection and I'm gonna add of Prenail with random lowerness to the there you go I will like it and I'm gonna drag and put it on the extrude but make sure before doing uh, after doing that you you need to change the projections from UVW mapping to flat so it's gonna cover every single part of it and we're gonna click yeah looks nice and I'm gonna drag this again but I'm gonna remove the texture from here I'm gonna clear and I'm gonna change the color to more whitish right now I'm using RGNBS223 you can use that color if you want and I'm gonna drag this and put it on the extrude but make sure with the white texture you change the selection to R1 so it's gonna be only on the outline of the logo I guess yep now the main part comes here and you need to pay close attention before you move on I suggest you to name your extrude to something like my text my logo I'm gonna say my logo and make sure you hold control and drag it out to um, create a duplicate of the object and I'm gonna go in Select the my logo extrude, go to plugins and browse And I'm gonna make the pieces to 100. You can use 70. Actually, I'll use 70. And I'll go and take the keep object. Rest will be same for me. So you can do whatever heck you want, but I just keep the pieces at 70. Make sure it's on random eyes randomize render random seed and make sure you have take keep original object and I'm gonna click break now it's gonna take a while guys so I'll meet you guys back in a second peace hey guys welcome back and see how it looks like so cool right now it doesn't fluff you now we're gonna fix that so I'm gonna close this out and make sure it has already selected what it's already have I mean don't unselect that or anything which is selected after breaking up alright so what we're going to do now is you see these red crosses we're gonna change them to ticks by hitting there so there you go and now what we're going to do now is go to MoGraph effector random random yeah random yeah I'm sorry guys so let's hit on the relation. We're gonna change the relation a bit. You know, just randomize them. It's not a main part, of course. So select the polygon, trousers 3 to my logo 3, and. Uh, Alright. And drag that at the back of your logo. Alright. Looks cool. And I guess this is the part of the logo, guys. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. 
so <laughs> so let's open up the light and we're gonna use the light all right but before you know you change the position because it's gonna make me change position of my view a lot I'm gonna add a camera and I'm gonna hit it here to save the view so every time I'll move my view I will hit here and it will let me change my view and still save my view right there so I'm gonna hit here it's gonna change the view I'm gonna select the light I'm gonna drag this sucker up and make sure the shadow here in the journal is shadow map shadow map soft and let's change the type from only to spot and change the visible light to wall metric and we're gonna go in the noise and we're gonna change the noise from none to both and we're gonna change the octaves a bit to like 8 to 6 we're gonna change the brightness if you want but I'm not gonna mess with that what I'm going to mess up, mess with that, not mess up, I'm gonna mess with the color. And I like a bit of like purplish here and there like this. And we're gonna change the darkness here to 50 maybe. And I'm gonna drag, uh, drag this. Oh. Loma. Loma, 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 Loma. I'm sorry. Um. But I don't have to worry, I'm gonna hit the camera. See, I told you guys it's gonna make me do that. Alright, so it did not work for some reason. We'll keep it at four. Make sure jump. Whoa, what up? What's up with this? Hmm, maybe I should have dragged the light way too far. So. working but I'm gonna change the blur and come back to okay. so I'm gonna render this out in a second and I'll show you how it looks like so thanks for watching this show guys I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like this video if you liked it dislike if you didn't like it uh, if you have any questions or queries just ask me in the comments I'll try to reply everyone I can if I can and actually guys this tutorial is a part of the series that I'm doing with cinema 40 and Trousy and actually the next part is coming this Sunday so stay tuned and it's gonna be secret guys because you guys are gonna love it so thank you so much for watching this tutorial, guys I'll make sure that I'll show you the result of this after the video and yeah Peace. Thank you.